Hey guys, Dalton with Jaspertronics, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Epson unit. It is a uh, Pro G7400U here. Uh, we're going to be swapping out the filter and bulb on this. It's the same as the G7500, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so looking at the side panel here, we've got the bulb compartment cover. Uh, it's pretty basic. We just have a couple of screws here. Uh, we're just going to back out these screws. They're going to stay inside the cover. They're not going to fully remove, and uh, we'll be able to get this cover popped off here. All right, let's get this camera angle changed and take a closer look at this compartment. Okay, so here we have the bulb compartment. It's pretty simple. We've got our connector just right down here. That's where the lamp is actually going to connect into the projector and get power. We've got our two screw posts, one in the top left, one in the bottom right. That's all there is to it. This is a pretty simple thing. We've got some intake and exhaust ports on both the left and right side. That's all those little squares, all that mesh you see in there. Uh, cleaning those out regularly can actually help with any heating issues you might be having. So definitely look into that if you get a chance as well. All right, and here we have the actual lamp. Uh, here's the connector. One caveat with these lamps, it's loose. It wiggles around, it's gonna do that. So if you're installing the lamp and you notice a little bit of resistance, wiggle your lamp around. It's gonna help a little bit. You can get some play in that and it'll line up better and the lamp will slide in. Um, so just kind of real simple here. You just slide it right in. There's really not a whole lot to it. You'll feel a little bit resistance, wiggle, and you're in. Not much to it. Let's take a closer look. Okay, and here's the lamp inside of the compartment. As you can see, we can just kind of slide it in and out, but it'll kind of butt up against that connector there. If you don't give it just a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of play, and it'll pop right in. And you can actually see it still kind of pivot and wiggle around on that connector until you get it secured in. So like I said, we've got the two screws, one up top, one up bottom. Let's get those in. Okay, next we're gonna go over the filter a little bit. This is very basic and there's really only one thing that can prevent you from installing it. Um, there's just the little clip up top there to get this pulled down. Here we have the filter. It's real simple. There's just a clip that is on the bottom of these filters. So just push in the bottom middle, right there where my thumb was at, there's that little clip right there. You might think it's up top, nope, it's down there. Get it pushed in right there and it's gonna go right in with no problems and you're done. All right, guys, well, that's just kind of the quick overview of how to get these lamps installed and how to, you know, change these filters out. So once again, if you guys like the video, definitely leave us a like, subscribe for more content, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you again, and uh, keep watching. Later.